Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the Junkyard. I'm Ian the Junkernaut and today we're going to be delving into one of my favorite hobbies, Airsoft. Now as much as I love Airsoft, I love tinkering even more. And uh, the problem with tinkering with Airsoft stuff is that Airsoft for a lot of people is a really performance oriented sport. And uh, that means that the only way to really increase the performance or modify something is a lot of times with uh, pre-made kits, you know, upgrade springs, uh, bigger batteries, you know, changing out your gearboxes, your hop-up, all that kind of stuff. Now the way that we're going to get around that today is we're going to start with something that's fairly impractical, an airsoft revolver. And we're going to make it into something that is still somewhat impractical, but hopefully uh, a little bit better, but a lot of fun. Most people who buy airsoft revolvers are just a fan of the look and overall action of them um, altogether, not because they think that they're going to be particularly helpful in a game. In a lot of ways, the coolest thing about the airsoft revolvers are the shells themselves. Unfortunately, it's also what makes them really impractical and difficult to use. However, in our case, this opens up a pretty cool possibility because, as you can see, these shells are much bigger and longer than a single BB, meaning that if we were to drill out the inside of this, and then we would have an airsoft shotgun revolver. My specific version has this little rubber ring here. Obviously we want to take that out prior to drilling because we're going to need that to hold uh, all of the BBs in once we're done modifying it. Just get a little bit of lube in there. This is some soft stuff. Ooh, just a little too tight. Alright, we're now up to a quarter inch drill bit. Pretty perfect fit. So our rubber bucking still has a little lip that it can sit in. And we stick in one BB, another BB, and another BB. And okay, currently it's three. Three is the maximum. Let's do a test with three. So let's do maybe three regular shells. Just so you can see what the performance is like. So we are hitting the wall at about uh, 80 feet from here, curving to the left and the right. This should be the one, let's see what happens. Hey, not bad. And again, just going a little bit shy of the wall. That was a pretty good successful proof of concept. Let's go ahead and drill out the rest of the shells. We're gonna use this shell that we've already drilled out in order to make a uh, mark on our drill bit here so that we can know how far we need to go into the other ones to make them all hold three shells reliably or three BBs rather. And the black one here was a little bit of an experiment so instead of uh, enough room for three BBs it actually has enough room for four. Interesting. So we actually had one BB that hit the wall and the rest of them kind of um, spat out at varying distances with the fourth BB not going very far at all. You can actually reload it just with a speed loader from the front here so you don't even have to open the cylinder. Was this build a success? Personally I would say yes. Um, it didn't exactly exceed my wildest expectations. That being said, I do feel like we've taken something that basically had no practical use in a game and we've turned it into something that has some practical use. It's not going to be great all the time. The last thing I want to mention is that these little rubber nubs in the shells are just stiff enough that they will still hold a single BB in there and fire very well. The fact that you can just switch back and forth between a uh, single shot if you want the full power and range or to do the shotgun effect uh, makes this basically a no-brainer that this is an awesome mod. It's a ton of fun to use and I am definitely looking forward to using this in some of our games but probably not all of them. The idea of shooting a shotgun shell out of a revolver is actually not very far-fetched because there are real steel versions of uh, revolvers that can chamber 410 shotgun shells uh, which is just awesome and in a sense, all we've done is make an airsoft version of that firearm. I'm going to try and find a uh, link to buy this revolver here, and I'll put that down in the description box. And I'll also have some different links uh, for some of my other hobby and weapon builds. So if you're interested in those, please give them a look. As always, guys, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button below, and subscribe if you haven't already, so that I can be sure and see you in the next one.